What is up guys, today I bring to you the servant profile of the day, Arjuna. He can be summoned as an archer and assassin. His place of origin is India and he's a hero from the Indian epic Mahabharata. He's also the brother and the rival of the heroic spirit Karna. Class skills, divinity, the rank is B class. If you see my Karna lore, I talked about how Kunti can see Karna by calling up the sun god Surya. Well, later on down the road, she was granted another favor, but this time she called up the thunder god Indra. This is how Arjuna came to be Karna's half brother. Due to him being the son of Indra, he's been bestowed with aptitude above the average. Personal skills, clairvoyance, the rank is C plus to B plus. You're not a true archer unless you possess this ability. Even if he uses this from a high location, he can still check out an entire town as if it were up close. My advice, don't bother hiding. Just come out in the open and take this L. On top of this, it increases his accuracy and visual perception in general. He also has the possibility of seeing invisible targets. By concentrating during his shot, he can manipulate his own sense of time. The awarded hero. The rank is A-Class. This skill represents Arjuna as a hero. From the moment he was born, everybody just loved him. He was that guy. There were even times where if Arjuna needed something, people would just give it to him. No questions asked. It is for this reason that he will never lack in anything unless there's a specific cause, such as someone putting a curse on him. Mana Burst Flames. The rank is A-Class. It's a variation of Mana Burst that infuses the weapon with fire. The skill actually came attached to his noble phantasm, Gondiva. During its use, you'll see Burst of Mana projecting from the back of his arrows. The projection gives him a boost, allowing him to pierce his opponents faster than a rifle. Agni Gondiva. Flame God's Yell. The rank is A-Class. It's an anti-unit phantasm, which means you use it on one person. So the God of Fire hit Arjuna up and told him that he needed his help in order to restore his influence. Arjuna said, cool, I'm real nice with the bow. Hook your boy up. In response to this request, Agni blessed Arjuna with the phantasm Gondiva. It is the same bow that defeated Karna when they fought during the Kurukshetra War. Since it was made for the divine, it can't be used by mortals. Don't put your hands on this one. By normal standards, it's just a regular boat. Nothing special. But when he calls out their true name, the arrows turn into flaming missiles. Combine this with his clairvoyance, and these arrows turn into homing missiles. Pashupata, raised hand of the destruction god. The rank is A+. It's an anti-unit phantasm, which means you use it on one person. It's a divine construct bestowed by Shiva, one of the three Hindu supreme deities. All right, so in my Ushiwakamaro profile, I talked about how Shiva's job is to destroy harmful things in the world in order to uplift it. The phantasm pretty much embodies exactly that. This is basically Shiva judging the person's work. If you pass, the move will miss. If you fail, you get destroyed. Utterly destroyed. KO. Guillotine. One shot it. It literally says the move delivers instant death. He levitates in the air and delivers a space manipulation technique on behalf of the god Shiva. Bruh, India is on the map. These folks are so broken. To add on, the higher the divinity, the higher the chance that the phantasm hits. On the other hand, if the servant is recognized as an anti hero, the chances of them receiving the blow will be lower. The suggestion comes from Borto NS on my Altera video. Who asks, is there enough information to do a profile on Arjuna? That about wraps it up. If you enjoyed the video, please like it up so we can get this trending. Feel free to add information as you see fit. And let me know what you guys think about it. It's your boy, Saya. I'm out.